Hi everyone, Ivan from Weboshia. Welcome to part three in our Drupal 8 site building series. And today we're going to look at using views. Now, what is views? Well, views allows you to query your site content and display it as a page or as a block. You can also use it to pull in results from a search index and it can be used to create slideshows. Now, in Drupal 7, views is the most popular module and for Drupal 8, it's been moved into core. So in this video, we are going to create a homepage for our blog and create two blocks. One, which displays an archive of all of our blog posts and another, which will display all of our categories, kind of like a tag cloud. So as usual, if you want to read this tutorial, head over to the link below. If not, keep watching. So here is my Drupal 8 site. The only extra thing I've done is I've installed the Devel Generate module, which comes with Devel. And the module generates dummy content. As you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of Lauren Ipsum blog posts. And when you are playing around with views, it's very useful to have actual real content to play with. So if you want to generate dummy content, check out Devel. So right now we have three views to create. So I'll try and keep this video short, but it might run a little long. And the first view we're going to create is the homepage. So to create a homepage, click on structure and click on views. And just a side note, if you don't see the views link, make sure you have the views UI module installed and then click on add new view. Let's call this view homepage, very original. And in the view settings section, make sure you, you select content and then type, make sure you select blog and leave the sort by as newest. So this will tell views to query all blog content types and then sort it by newest first or create a date or author on date. And then below view settings, just check create a page. And here you can configure a few of the page settings. So like page title, path, and then display format and even items to display. But you can also modify this stuff in the next page. So for now, just click on save and edit. And at this point we have a working view. So let's just leave it for now and let's just click on save. This is a habit just to make sure everything is saved. And now let's set up this view or let's set this view so that it's used as the front page. So to do that, just click on configuration and then click on basic site settings and change this default front page from node to home page because this is the path of, of the view and then click on save configuration. So, ne so now if we go to the home page, you will see that we get a listing of our blog posts and we get a page title of home page. Now this being the front page, you don't really want a page title to appear. So let's remove this page title. Now, you can edit a view in a few ways. One way is to go through the views UI page. So by, so just click on structure and views. Or if you hover over the view and you have the contextual links module installed, just click on the contextual link and then click on edit, edit view. And this will take you to the view and then when you save it, you'll, you'll, be, re you'll be redirected back to the page where you clicked edit view from. So let's just remove the title. And then if we hit save, we should be redirected back to the home page. Okay, there you go. So now we have a working home page. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create an archive block. Now, luckily for us, we didn't have to build this view from scratch. Let me show you. So go back to structure, views, and if you scroll down right to the bottom, you will see that we have 
two views which are disabled, archive and glossary. With the archive one, simply click on enable. And if you scroll to the top, you should see it in the enabled section. And if you just edit it, you can see that this, uh, that this view comes with two displays, a block and a page. Now, to actually use this view, we need to add this block to the sidebar. So let's do that now. Click on structure, block layout, and scroll down to the sidebar first. And then you should see archive and click on place block and leave everything as is, leave the visibility settings as it is because we want the block to be displayed across the whole site and then click on save block and just reorder it so it's up the top and don't forget to save the whole page at the bottom. Now if we go to the home page or any page you should see this monthly archive and if I click on July 2016 I should see three blog posts. So the third and final view which we'll create is a block which will show you the popular categories. Okay, so to begin go to structure, views and click on add a new view. Let's call this popular categories and in the view settings select taxonomy terms and from type of select category and then because we want to create a block click on create a block and just leave everything as is and click on save and edit so the first thing we need to do is create a relationship between our blog posts and the categories that they reference so click on advanced and next to relationships click on add and check content using field underscore category and then just click on save and configure relationships make sure you check require this relationship and then click on apply still under the advanced section scroll down until you see use aggregation click on no and just check that and click on apply this will help us group field results and it's useful to count items okay so if you have a look in the preview you will see our three categories drupal joomla and wordpress now let's add in a count next to next to each category so just click on add in the field section and this time search for ID and select ID in the category of content and click on add and from the aggregation type select count distinct and apply and continue and just click on apply so now if we scroll down, we can see an actual count. So this tells us that 20 blog posts are using the Drupal category. 12 blog posts have selected Joomla as its category and 18 blog posts have, have selected Word, WordPress. Now this looks pretty crap. Let's now change the output so that you have a category and then the count is in brackets. So to do that, let's modify the taxonomy term. Oh, before we do that, sorry, cancel that. Let's rearrange the field so that the content ID is up at the top and taxonomy term name is at the bottom because this allows us to use tokens. And let me show you. Click on rewrite results and check the override the output of this field with custom text and if you click on this replacement patterns this allows us to render other fields within the view within this field so this one this node one is the field which we moved above 
So what I'll do is curly brackets. So this will be the category name and then node and this will display the counts and then click on apply and you can see our count is now next to the category let's now let's now hide this category count up the top simply click on the content id and just check exclude from display this will hide it but it will still it will still leave the field in the view it will simply hide hide the rendering and then click on apply and then don't forget to save always save your views okay right now we are listing our categories and we also have accounts but you can see that it's not sorted correctly. We have Drupal, which has 20 blog posts, and then you have Joomla, a second, that has 12 blog posts. Let's, let's configure the sort so that Drupal is up at the top, and then we have WordPress as a second one, and then Joomla as a third, so, so that it's sorted by the amount of blog posts descending. So to do that, just click on Add next to Sort Criteria, and then Again, search for ID and select ID under the content category and select count distinct from aggregation type and just change the sort or the order to sort descending and click on apply. And now you can see that the categories are sorted by the count descending. And then just click on save. Now the only thing left to do is add our block to the sidebar. So to do that, just click on structure, block layout, and scroll down until you find sidebar first. And add the popular categories and just click on place block, leave everything as it is and then just click on save block. Move the block to the top so it's above archive and then don't forget to click on save blocks. Now if we go to the home page, we should see it on the left. And if we click into one of them, we get redirected to the taxonomy term page that lists out all blog posts that, have, that are under Drupal.